This is To Hatch a Pod. Sit back and relax as Key, Corey, Greg, and Ashley talk about what's happening in and around To Hatch a Pee. It's To Hatch a Pod time. Key Budge, Claire Scotty today. Claire, good to see you. Good to see you too. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it out with all the snow, but I'm so happy to see the sun and everything melting and it looks like it's going to be a really fun weekend. And we broke our streak of having you in every week talking about this with last week. The snow basically shut down almost everything. All the wineries were closed, but the breweries, some were open, but we didn't get a chance to do the show that weather impacted us to be able to get into the studio and and knock it out. Yes, for sure. And, And that was a bummer, but I think it all worked out the way it was supposed to. Hopefully we'll just keep the street going from now on. There you go. (laughs) And we've got a nice sunny weekend in front of us as we kick off March. Everyone is going to be doing something. Yes. All right. Yes. Everybody has stuff planned and I know everyone is very excited. We've all been cooped up. And so, you know, we're getting out there again and shaking off the the funk. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Claire, where are we starting today? All right, let's start with our vineyards. Okay. So over at Triassic, they have Jim Cine playing on Saturday from 3.30 to 5.30, and they have Jamel's Good Food Gang. And then on Sunday, Alex Griggs will be there, and they will have charcuterie all throughout the weekend as well. Tashby Wine and Cattle Company on Saturday has Lauren and Silas coming from 2 to 5. And then on Sunday, Joey Fulco will be there from 2 to 5 as well. And they have their chili and clam chowder bread bowls, Frito Boats, Fresh Cookies and Sangria all weekend. Dorner Family Vineyard has Dave Mordigian playing from 1 to 5 on Saturday, and Pokey Express will be there. And then on Sunday, Guy and Opal will be there from 1 to 5, and they will have their charcuterie, Italian sub sandwiches, turkey and Harvardi sandwiches, and, you know, their gift shop will be open, so everything will be ready to go. Tehachapi Winery has Luna playing from 2 to 5, and Claudia's Catering is scheduled to be there. And then on Sunday, Day, Lauren and Silas from 2 to 5. And I want to let everybody know that Stray Leaves expanded their hours. So they're open Thursday through Saturday from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. now. All right. Very good. Yeah. Very exciting. <laughs> Heading over to our breweries. Local Craft Beer has their musical open mic night tonight, Thursday. And then on every Wednesday, they have their Geeks Who Drink trivia night with Pokey Express. And then next weekend, mark your calendars, March 11th at 6 p.m., Local Craft Beer has Whiskey Galore coming back into town and Fistful of Nickels. And if you haven't heard Whiskey Galore, they are like the quintessential Irish band. (laughs) They get out all the instruments, the bagpipes, the drums, and their music is just so fun. And so they're breaking it out for our St. Patty's Day. All right. (laughs) Over at West Lane, they are celebrating their five-year anniversary. They have been here in Tatchby for five years. They are very excited, and they have a whole lineup to celebrate. On Thursday, they have their paint night, and As Unique as the Art has a colorful elephant that looks really pretty, and Kiki's Tacos will be there. Friday, Drew Campbell is playing and whole shot pizza will be there and there's going to be like a little bit of a folk music night so several artists are going to be coming and playing with drew and so that'll be a really fun thing to be a part of and i've heard wonderful things about whole shot pizza and then on saturday dub seeds is coming up to play and then dj nelly is going to take over after And then we have Good Food Gang and A's Burger from Antelope Valley is coming up too. So that'll be from 7 to 9 and lots of celebrating will commence. (laughs) (laughs) And then Old West Brewing has a tentative schedule this weekend because of the snow, a few things changed. But they're very hopeful for their open mic night on Friday with Thorne Ashton and Saturday karaoke with DJ Tom. All right. So vineyards, breweries, but we know that there's more happening than... There's Just. always something that's going on here in Tehachapi. Spring, I mean, technically we're still in winter. Spring's around the corner. The sun's up. We just had a bunch of snow. People are looking forward for, to do things. Yes, absolutely. So it's the first of the month as well. And we always know that first Friday happens. So Gallery and Gifts has a new artist that they're featuring named Wendy Watson. Come on over Friday night, four to seven, and learn all about this really interesting, wonderful artist, Wendy 
was born and raised in Ventura and Ojai, living many years in Fraser Park. And then she finally landed in Tatchby two years ago. And throughout her life, she's found creating many styles of art to be a change and solace for her and charge, sorry, a charge and solace. Her family has artists and musicians and she's found inspiration through every season of her life. And she's very excited to share this with everyone at Gallery and Gifts. She does a lot of different mediums and methods too. So she has some of her work that's textile and it's not just you know paint or or whatnot she's using fabric and thread to create these wonderful beautiful visual visual pieces of art so head on over there meet her there's always goodies and treats and see gallery and gifts and then we have our bingo night with american legion squadron 221 always fun yes they're right here on f street right next to city hall yay walking distance between tvaa and their post yeah so and then plenty of eateries in between so nice reason to come visit downtown exactly you got your whole friday night itinerary right there And then on Saturday, we have another a kitten adoption event by Fix and Feral Felines, and this will be at Canine Creek, Saturday, 10 to 3, and Canine Creek is at 798 Tucker Road. Home Depot has their kids craft first Saturday of the month starting at 9, and then the library has their maker time all day and family board games happening, all happening this weekend. And then we know next weekend, even more things are happening. And something that's really different and exciting, and for those of you who are interested in, you know, doing something different in the kitchen and trying something new with your culinary arts, head over to Space Flow Yoga. And Samantha Sanchez is going to be doing a fermented veggie workshop where she teaches us how to safely ferment veggies. And then she teaches us a little bit about the importance of gut health and how that can really just elevate your health in general. And that's $20. You can register at spaceflowyoga.com. And again, that's March 11th at 1 p.m. And then on March 12th, we have that wonderful concert coming up from Tatchby Symphony Orchestra at Country Oaks Baptist Church. This event is free. You can show up and enjoy this wonderful bit of music. Rufus Choi is a featured soloist who will be there and he will be performing Beethoven's Piano Concerto number five. Very good. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we've got a nice variety of different kinds of entertainment, uh, your music tastes, and of course, our beer and our wine, lots to do. And I know that there's a business around here that can make it even easier if you want to do some multiple things. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, there's there's something. It can help you discover Tehachapi. Yeah. Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey, what about Discover Tehachapi? Hey. <laughs> oh, that was fun. All right. So Discover Tehachapi is exactly that. We want to make sure that it's easy for you to get out and enjoy our town and no planning necessary. We've gone and done all of the heavy lifting. We are we provide all the meals, we provide the transportation. There's history involved. My husband actually just he got an appointment to undergo all the docent training for the depot museum. So pretty soon he's going to know a lot of information about the trains and the depot and, and Chatchby's history with the railroad and so many really cool, interesting things. So pretty soon he will be (laughs) another docent. (laughs) It's something that's really exciting for us is that we keep learning and we are able to share this with the community and with visitors. And then, so I know Chris tells stories and explains the history on the tours. And that's really what you guys offer these tour packages that vary, whether it's the brew tour, the wine winery tour, or your special events that go on. You guys make it a special experience for those that live outside the area. They get a chance to get a little piece of the history and what also goes on. And that's something you guys share. And I know you guys do take lots of photos along the way with, you know, the your clients. And how can people follow along with that journey? Yeah. So we are very active on Instagram and Facebook, Discover to Hatchby. And then you can always go to our website, uh, discover to Or if you're more of a phone person and you want to get on, you want to talk to us about our options, that's 661-235-5334. 
And while we do offer custom tours and uh, some shuttle service, there are standard tours are really our bread and butter because so much thought and effort has really gone into those. And we really want to make sure that everyone enjoys themselves. And that includes a, a special lunchbox that you prepare out of your kitchen that you have at Discover to Atchby as well. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> All right. So lots to do. Uh, I know that's going to kick off this season. You're going to start getting really, really busy. Yes. So book early, ch- go to the website, check it out, follow on social media, and also pay attention to these special events that they plan that Claire and Chris are planning with some other organizations like stargazing and wine tasting. The, all these different combinations that are really cool that are going to take place between now through the end of summer into the fall. Yes. So uh, we encourage you to follow along in this journey. Thank you very much. And then also want to remind you about uh, our another wine uh, tour shuttle service, and that's oldvineyardcharm.com, Bill and Kim Case, and you can follow along with them at oldvineyardcharm.com. All right, Claire, did we hit everything? We touched We touched it all. We did it, went through it pretty quick. Yes. Our spring season, getting heading into summer, is starting, and yes. everyone is active. And our spring is going to be gorgeous. All this snow, all this rain we've been having, the flowers are going to be in abundance. And there's going to be more events coming up, more things to do in Tehachapi. So if you're out there and you're not up here yet, start planning. Now, has, does Chris have a background in being able to talk about the wildflowers and what you're seeing? Or is that the next thing we have to That's challenge him to pick That's probably the next up? thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to tell him. Right, you have to start learning all of these different types of flowers and not just the poppies. That's right. Exactly <laughs> right. All right, so... Claire Scotty with Discover to Hatchby. It's discovertohatchby.com, Discover to Hatchby on Instagram and Facebook. Claire, thank you for getting this together. I tell you this every week, but I know how much work is involved because you have to individually contact each one of these entities to get this information. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, folks, if you've got a question for Claire, you can uh, send it to us and we'll get it to her, or you can reach out to her through those social media and website. Send it to us, media at TehachapiCityHall.com. We'll make sure it gets to her. Or if you have a question or a thought or an idea that you'd like to share with us, media at TehachapiCityHall.com. And we'll catch you again soon. Thanks, Claire. Thank you. Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at TehachapiCityHall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.